As mentioned previously, it's a really good idea to have a lesson plan format that you write on a bit of paper and it tells you exactly what you're gonna do in each lesson. That way you haven't got to think too much and it's all planned out and it's also good for your assistant instructors who are teaching your classes to write out exactly what they're gonna teach and you check it over if you need to. So for example, you might have a top section that says warm up and mobilization. So it might be, you know, loosening up different parts of the body for three minutes, then a skip. And then the next section would be exercises to get the body warm. So you might do a jog with fitness, such as, you know, jogging round and 10 press ups every 30 seconds sort of thing. Then the main bulk of the session might be training with your partners. You know, you might be working a hook defense. So you're gonna work three different ways to block a hook. So it might be a side head block, a roll, and a counter punch as the punch comes. So you've got your three ways which they drill on each other. Then the next section, right, we're gonna put these in a combo on a pad or just pick one, pick it, put it in a combo on the pad. So the first one, jab, cross, right, round ass kick, side head block. Second one, jab, cross, right, round ass kick, roll. Third one, jab, cross, right, round ass kick, see the hook coming, counter punch down the middle. And there you go, that's the three rounds done. Then at the end, you might say to everyone, right, sparring, we're doing light technical sparring and the goal is when your partner throws a nice hook, you either block or you roll or you counter punch. And that's the theme for sparring. And then you've got your whole lesson plan all written out, you know exactly roughly what you're gonna do. And if you need to adjust it a little bit, you can do, you've got the rough timings. And it's just a good idea of pre-framing yourself so you don't panic and you know exactly what you're gonna teach everyone. Um, so that's really good for anyone who wants to write something down rather than turning up at the lesson going, uh, right, what should we do next? Mm, not sure, right, maybe, you know, it's just people aren't, don't want to stand around. They want to know what you're going to teach them and get on with it and then go home. So have a lesson plan, write down everything and then you can keep that, stick that away, do another 50 and then whenever you want to, pick a random one out and go, oh yeah, I like this one, let's do this one again. So you've got them all for next time.